everybody, welcome to Live Free and Tool On. Today we're going to be talking about the 14-in-1 Hammer Multi-Tool. This is a really cool tool. Now, Moon Go Tools sent this to me because they wanted me to review this to see if it's actually worth it. Now, this is advertised as being the perfect gift for Dad. Now, I will say, I would say that it could come in handy, but let's talk a little bit about the features. Then we're going to test it out and see if it's actually worth it. If something that maybe you should invest in and get for your dad or just for anyone. So this is advertised to have 14 in one tools. So let's take a look around it real quick. We have a strap here. Obviously you have a hammer here. On the back you have the claw. This is a very small claw so this would be for more finished nails, things like that. Then you can see there's a split in the middle. That's where this comes in handy. So you take the strap off. You open it up. So there you have flat jawed pliers. Then in the middle you have right here, this is for bolts, so you can grip it and turn. And then you do have wire cutters down at the bottom. It turns pretty freely. Now if we take a look at the back side, we'll put the strap back on. You have a Phillips, and I believe this is a number one Phillips here that comes off the back that you can use. Here you have a basic flat blade knife, no serrations. And here, here you have a serrated knife, then you have a file on the back side. And then here you actually have wire strippers here, then you have a bottle opener here, and then this is just a basic small knife here. And then this is hidden at the top. And pull out a couple tools to get to it. You do have a flat uh, blade screwdriver there too. So you do have a quite a bit of tools on this, but you know what, let's go ahead and test this out and see if we can't actually drive a nail because this is the hammer multi-tool. Here's the first one. So it, it actually drove it, <laughs> that's cool. So what I'm finding is that it will drive it, but you know, it doesn't have that much uh, volume to it, so it doesn't have that much weight, so it's gonna take a very long time to drive anything. Um, but just as important as driving, you gotta be able to pull it out, so, ah, okay, so this will go over. Right here, you can see that, it will go over the finish nail. But it's gonna be kinda hard to pull because that's a long finish nail. So we're not gonna be able to do that there. And obviously, oh, it fits there, but I'm not going to be able to do that. So another alternative you have is you can take this here, grip it as far as you can down, turn it, and just pull it out. Okay, so we know that it'll manage a nail, but can it actually do a screw? Let's see if we can drive that screw in there. And for this, we'll be using the Phillips. Okay, so it actually is driving the screw, no problem. I can't get that out there. So, you know, the one thing that I do notice, since it is a T-handle type here, as you can see that, it does make driving these a little bit easier than what you would have if it was this type. So, you know, I'll give this a thumbs up that it will work. So here's what I would say for this 14 to one hammer multi-tool. This is great for emergency use. So what I would suggest that someone would use this for Put it in your vehicle, um, you know, as an emergency use. You always need that emergency kit in there. You can put it, you know, maybe in uh, a place that you're nor normally in, whether it's your camp or something like that. This is going to get you out of a pinch. So it's not like an everyday usable tool, something that would replace all of your pliers and hammers, but for emergency use, this could come invaluable, which means when in doubt, this may get you out of a pinch. The knife works, the hammer works. The pliers work. You're going to be able to turn a bolt here as well because it has the um, jaws inside of it. You know, it really does a good job, and the quality feels pretty good too. I mean, everything's really smooth here. It has wood inlay, so it's not terribly uncomfortable. But I would say, for emergency purposes, this is a good tool. 
Thanks everybody for watching. Please like, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.